For those of you just joining us, this is the C7. It's very white. Yeah! Now this car, we are gonna give away if we hit 500,000 subscribers. It's gonna get a little raunchy now because we're gonna be installing the CSP Bigger Boy camshaft. Not just our big boy camshaft, but the bigger boy camshaft, as well as LME heads and a stall converter. It looks like things are pretty good. I'm gonna take the bumper off. Ah! We're gonna take the bumper off. Or maybe it's a frog. It almost looks like a frog front end. Do you guys see it? It looks like a frog. On the way home, like I, I was not going the speed limit. That was three years ago, statute of limitations, blah, blah, blah. So how long until the, uh, the engine's coming out? This is the fun part, getting the steering rack out. I'm gonna go ask my wife if she likes my wiggle dance. She look like an idiot, but. <laughs> We're heading in for the moment of truth. The heads are coming off. The bolts are still in. So, yep. Yeah. They look pretty good in there. I mean, this one cylinder's a little gunky. This actually looks great for 90 some thousand miles. So that is pretty darn cool. Uh, we have a decent looking engine. I didn't want to bore you guys with uh, all the stuff that has to come off. So it is time to pull the engine out. Are you ready, Mike? Nope. Nope. Are you ready now? No. How about now? Yes. Okay, sweet. We're gonna use our fancy CSP engine plate. Look at that, custom, custom made. Basically, it's like a cat. We just put our scent on it and it's ours now. This is gonna be fun. The pistons on this side look pretty good too. No, the yeah. whole engine looks great. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll use it. We've disconnected the AC compressor, that way we don't vent anything off into the, the atmosphere. Uh, and basically we're going to use this fancy uh, tinsel strength te uh, tester. Basically it's testing the tinsel strength of anything that we've left on the car. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so? Harness might still be connected down there. Oh yeah, they're actually okay. You're right. Ah, tinsel strength tester coming up. Well, it's also it's just a push pin. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All kinds of help. I'm, I'm I'm good like that. I'm, I'll tell you what you're doing wrong, no matter what. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing here is we're freeing it from the bell housing. Uh, it's going to go up a little bit so it can go forward. So the oil pan can actually clear the um, the K frame. Usually two people on this, but everyone's got some kind of cough or can't drive or... For those of you wondering what we're talking about, it's just me, Mike, and Eric here today. And I ain't doing shit. It's well away from the... That was involved. Well, you, just... you un, untorqued that thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. Got a bolt over there. Yeah, there's a bolt down there that you got on torque. And then you gotta, like when you put it back in, you have to do it in a very specific manner. Yeah. Otherwise you're gonna kill the thrust bearing. In the engine, yeah. Oh yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> oh, look at that, the wiggle dance. It worked. It worked. Okay, oh. let's see what we forgot to disconnect. Crank sensor. Oh, there we go, there's number one. Again, tinsel strength tester. Cam sensor. I mean, I will now. It's just, it's not the right one for the build. It's lower compression. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah it's Why does it not make any power? Well, yeah, it's, it's definitely, for, I mean, it'll make power. Yeah, yeah. It'll do good. It's just, it's not going to do what I want it to do, which is going to be a high revving monster. All right. Okay, let's get it on an engine stand and get it undressed. Yeah. Just like I do to my wife. Oh my God. How are you not demonetized? I don't know. I haven't had one demonetized video. Actually, I did. Really? I had one demonetized video and it was because I did a 9-11 tribute. It's of like, course. It's like the stupidest thing. 
looks like everything else, like dropping the F-bomb and stuff like that, never got demonetized for any of it. Yeah. All my videos are monetized. Finally, they don't make any money, but they're, <laughs> they're, they're monetized. So here is the fun stuff that we're putting together here. There's just like the accessories. We're just gonna use regular LT1 gaskets. That's indicated by the red here. The LT4, which we normally use on just about everything because we prep all of our customers for boost. Uh, we get the uh, the black LT4 gaskets, which are uh, mo a higher level of multi-layered steel. Like this is, I think, three in here, and uh, it's like five or seven for the LT4. I can't remember offhand. We're using these ported LME heads, and I asked them to bump the compression up as high as absolutely possible. They do a really, really nice job. And of course, the runners are clean, so that's going to be like really, really nice. Like compared to the other runners, which look like absolute shit. And then to top it all off, we are doing our CSP bigger boy camshaft. <laughs> and uh, that's gonna be really cool. It's not something I recommend for a stock stall converter, even though I've done it on the ZL1s, it worked out really well. Yeah. That car actually was uh, awesome. It was kind of like a one-off, but it, it's, it, we're gonna throw it in here with a stall converter. So that's over there, isn't it? Which is somewhere over there. Yeah, good job, Mike. <laughs> Having all the parts ready to go. <laughs> and uh, uh, to get to that, we're gonna actually just drop the torque tube now, pull that forward and put the converter in right then. So this is actually a pretty convenient job because we don't have to drop the rear like we normally have to in order to get to a converter. Well, we're gonna do it you know, right here. It's gonna take a couple extra minutes. Uh, so convenient. And we're gonna do the uh, and when we do this, we'll do the new GM fluid. So the, the factory eight speed came with some older fluid that has since been revised to not cavitate. That's what, what caused a lot of the shuttering issues, the, 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 uh, which was the, the Lemon Law cars would get a shuttering transmission or something like that. What was happening was the fluid would cavitate, it would get air bubbles in it, and then it would lose pressure and do all sorts of stupid stuff and like eat the transmission alive. And I think that this one's probably fine by now because it's got 90 some thousand miles. It's probably perfect. It might've even had it. I'd have to go through that list of papers that I have for it, but I'm not going to. We're just gonna put the new fluid in and hope for the best with the new converter. FDI converter, it's the hard hit, 4,000 hard hits. So this thing should get off the line or just spin its balls off. Not sure which. And so I have to get a video of the lube going on because we posted a video and we didn't put this in video even though we did it. Right. And people, people like, tried to cream us being like, they didn't even lube anything. Every can, every the, can gets lubed. It's just, it's so stupid. Like people, <laughs> like I don't put everything in the video. I went to the bathroom a couple times during this video and uh, I didn't put that in the video. <laughs> It's time for the engine to go in. This bad boy is gonna go in as a short block. We're gonna assemble the heads in the car because it's just easier to maneuver that way. And it also uh, helps us have access to the the, uh, the torque tube. So, very important. Yep. And uh, uh, then we'll get the brand new spanking awesome heads on. I don't know if they're spanking. Do they spank? Is that thing I'm, anymore? Spanking? Spank, I mean, ask my wife. <laughs> Look at that fancy engine. It's back. Back in there. All the miles, but it's gonna be all the power soon. So I was gone for a little bit of time here. I went home. Well, I didn't go home. I guess I went home. I picked up my kids from school. And when I got back, my kid made me miss this important opportunity to film. But the heads are on, so. What? It's uh, moving along nicely, yep. which is LT, good. LT4 You're on your injectors are swapped. You're, yeah, we're doing LT4 injectors just because we had them, and uh, you, you know these were they're over there. Is these were a little, a little cruddy, but those are the LT4s. Yeah. Right. Okay. In, in the box, the LT1. In the box. Yeah, you can see how you know they're just a little cruddy. So that, it is what it is. So we we're swapping in some nice. Fresh LT4s, I'm gonna make a tune adjustment before we even start up. So that way it's not all like, you know, crazy here. But it's not gonna offer us anything unless we go to boost. But we're not gonna to go to boost on, on this setup because it's definitely high compression. 
tried to get these heads to be as high compression as possible. Okay. So this should be somewhere around a 12 two to one compression on pump gas, which should be pretty wild. Wow, she's starting to look like a real boy again. Actually, I don't think she's trans, so it's a still girl. It's still a girl, guys. A very yeah. tough girl, a, it's a very, stronger very girl. A stronger girl that can compete with the guys. And live to be 100. And live to be 100. That's right. <laughs> I'm really excited to hear it. And that's about all I'm going to be able to do for a little bit because I sent my wheel out to get fixed and the guy got COVID. So, oh my God, did he? <laughs> unfortunately, that's on delay too. The guy building my transmission for that also got COVID. So that's on delay. Man, I don't know the, if anything's going the, anywhere. What's the common denominator? The common denominator? It's you. No, I don't know what the common, no, I didn't get COVID. I know. So I, they'll send all the parts back and then I'll get it. Well, Mike's buttoning the rest of this thing up. I'm gonna work on the bass tune since we swapped injectors, camshaft, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna get that sorted out. So ideally our first start is a good start and we get useful data from that. All right, moment of truth. Did Mike mess this up before he leaves? About to find out. Oh God. Yeah, I hope not too. That would be, uh, that would be unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna do a uh, flood clear, which is being on the brake and the, the gas at the same time. Sounds uniform, let's let go of the gas. It's, it's, it's so quiet. It's like really quiet. It doesn't sound like a huge fan. <laughs> you didn't put the stock cam back in, did you? Are you sure? It's pretty quiet. Like this is the bigger boy camshaft. It's right there. Stock cam. Hey, it's stock. It, lo it looks used. Yeah. Stock. Well, it, this is uh. This is a little disappointing. We'll, we'll see what happens when it settles. What? It's a smooth idle cam. I see your face is not. Fuck. <laughs> I know my guys. <laughs> okay, it's starting to sound cam. I should check to see if we have oil pressure. Okay. Yeah. Where the hell do I keep oil pressure? Oh, there it is. 34.8. Okay. You got oil pressure. Yeah, I'm going to let this settle down at 850 RPM idle. It's at about 950 right now, but it's where I want it to be, timing wise and all that stuff. It's coming out really nice so far. You know, it's probably, I think it sounds better than it did when it was a stock game. I think it sounds better than a stock game. It sounds better well, than one of the stock I meant, I meant like it, the stock game shaft had like, it sounded like something was up. Like a little tick that was like, no, 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 that ain't right. But now it doesn't sound like that. Now it sounds really good. Yeah, it's going to... I have it to go to 850 for first start and then we'll play with it from there. We still have oil pressure, 33.6 pounds, so that's good. I think it's a cat back. It might need a cat back. See, I want a dual milk cat back because I want to be quiet like this and you know, loud. I want both. I want my cake and I want to eat it too. Mmm, cake. Cake would be good about now. We're gonna skip ahead to get this bad boy on the dyno, at least whenever the front wheel comes back from getting repaired from being bent. So it's here. 
it is dyno time for the heads cam setup. I haven't cut my hair since I got this car. Uh, I said I wouldn't cut it until I got uh, the heads cam numbers and today is the day where I'm gonna finally be able to get a haircut. I didn't say it to you, so don't feel like you missed anything. I just didn't say it at all. Uh, the, thing that, the things that I have said were that you will be able to win this car if we get to 500,000 subscribers. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get to 500,000 subscribers. So I don't think that that's really gonna happen, but surprise me, share this. Say, hey, I can win it, I wanna win it. Share it to you know your Facebook and stuff like that and see if that can happen, that'd be awesome. got it that hot before so the first run 493 i'm gonna go add some timing now let's see what happens some E85. Uh, it's probably not E85, it's probably E70, at least based on what I'm seeing here, 71. So it's uh, it's the winter blend, but that should be enough to get us where we want to be. So let's get to it. That's just their high flow cats, not their green cats. Just the regular high flow cats. Well, we wanted to see how much of a restriction they might be. So we switched it over to the uh, off-road pipes, the race only pipes. This is not legal for the street. We're using this just for dyno purposes. And uh, we're gonna find out how much it does now. I mean, if we get to like 525, 530, I don't think it's a big deal. If we get to like 550, 560, that's a big restriction. So let's see what she does. Okay, 
So that's like in between. Like the cats are somewhat of a restriction, maybe just in the high end, but it's uh, not really a major restriction. I'm not sure how long it's carrying the power out, you know, beyond, but that's a good thing to know for like a race application. So when we take it to the race course, we'll probably slap on the catless mid pipes, but when we're driving around on the street, you know, sometimes you don't want to uh, do that ever, really. Uh, especially because you get like, you know, illegal stuff to it. But there's also like this smell from the cam and stuff like that that people forget about. And you know, this is a pretty big cam. So it, it has a, a lot of overlap. You get a, a quite a bit of stink to it compared to like, you know, a stock camshaft, but there is a good gain for it. I'm really happy to see the progression of the car. We went all the way from like 380 some, well actually it was like 380 some down to 370 some, and then all the way up to 534 rear wheel horsepower. That is awesome. I'm really happy with Betty White. Should we sell her? Let's discuss in the next video. Adios.